Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Paragon, it's the Agora Rising Tournament and it's round one, best of three. And to the left here, in the blue, we have, let's see here, it's uh, Team Dunk the Dex uh, here on the left, in the blue. And we have the players, and uh, let's see here, uh, Makaror as the Hauswitze, Malice as the Muriel, and Nimp as Murdoch, Martin Rivia as TB, Ken Moore as the Decker, and to the other side here in the orange we have a Bay Life, and we have the players Turborn as TB, T Celery as Muriel, Underpilot as uh, Dirk. Was that correct? It was Green Meso, wrong by me. And Isu as the little, little Iggy and Scorch and Boaz as Decker. And let's get into the game, shall we? We're seeing a warding phase here oh, well, on the left side. And everyone is saying middle is this far. We see the wards are definitely put it out in the angles on both sides here for... Oh, we're actually having, yeah, four wards combined from each side. Uh, different position though, we see a bit more of a linear warding here from the blue side. And uh, we have the other... Uh, Warding phase, yellow warding position here. And we finally see the middle here, and here comes the back. Uh, back push basically here, and good stun there, one of them. A big fight coming down very nicely here. Good AOE here from Dunk the Dex. And Bailaf is definitely backing out there. Under the pilot is so low here, he's getting out of the damage. Good escape there. He's going into the battle load to be able to use that Q. Uh, the Celery is taking a lot of damage. They have the upper advantage here. Marty should be going down here from the Iggy, maybe. Oh, that's a miss on the out attack. And there it goes, another hit. Um, and there, oh, that's a lot of damage on the eager. The turret is going down. That's a good bounce, uh, kind of there, for making the team kind of be stacked up, though. Nimp is looking good and healthy. They are definitely sinking, though, in the HP here on the team. And oh, this is a tight moment here. We have a lot of area in both teams here. And we are going down slowly. That's a good little knockback there. Oh, that's so much damage on the Muriel. And that was so close. But we have Silver here on the top here. This should be a bit of a uh, finished fight here. We see both teams going out, going out here. We see Bay Life. They're coming here for the Muriel. If I'm on the. No, I'm on the wrong side. It's. Oh, damn! Loveling the bugs, love live the bombs, and this is a lot of damage here on the Muriel from Dunk the Dex. Did I say that correct? No, yep, they, yeah. I'm not used to all this name. <laughs> Names basically here on the right side here in the jungle on the orange is Bay Life. On the blue side here and up there we have Dunk the Dex. So. If I said everything wrong there, which could pops probably probably have happened, then you know now what people are on what team. First time casting this team, and that's a good engagement on the poor poor house with It's when I click on here to move around, and I accidentally go up here, and we end out on the map. Nasty nice little bugger. Okay, look at the situation here. They are both trading camps, so to say, or not trading. That's definitely wrong, but they are ga grabbing their own camps here. And the warding is still fairly good here. We're losing the wards there on the left, actually, because the timer have ran out on them. Uh, wards uh, stay ar up for around a three-minute period. So far, teams are definitely feeling out each other. We're definitely looking at uh, quite even kill here in situation, but it's not much. I'm not even sure actually if they got all the 6p from one of the kills earlier here. I think they did though. They went back here. We're seeing a bit of a push the left lane here. Oh no, that's not left lane. There we go. Now I'm correctly lined up here. Yeah, correct on the left lane there. It's definitely pushed up uh, to towards the blue side and then even lane here on the right side. Camps is getting, well, or buffs more or less are getting gathered here. And how did I end up in here? Well, we know how that happened. And there we go. I basically need to keep my mouse down here and hold it in. Okay, so a big group up here for the blue team, which is Dunk the Dex. Holy shit, it's going to take me time to learn that. And yeah, we are looking at the orange team here, which is Baylife. They are having a quite an uh, easy. Uh, just in terms of engagement possibilities here, easy engagement phase, just in lane, just taking it e uh, shield and calm, basically. So I don't mean easy in the terms of 
that the opposite team is bad. I just mean that they are taking it slow and steady right now. Feels like both teams are taking it slow and steady. Actually, they are more feeling out the situation. Maybe trying to get some farm in here. Uh, buying a couple of cards. Maybe putting out harvesters. Let's see here. We have a harvester up there. We have a harvester up here. And we should... Yeah, we are at the fifth, uh, fifth minute mark. Which means that the harvesters on the side here are starting to pop in. And three, we are seeing a very close combined team here though, for the Baylife team. Did I say it correctly this time? Yes I did! Didn't I? Where are you my friend? Yeah, we have you. Yeah, they are there. And we have a four man here against Cielo. So let's see if Dunk the Dex can get anything down here on the left. Whilst... Um, oh yeah, we see a rotation coming over here. Oh, my, they will probably meet here in the angles. I don't think the wards have shown them anything here. There comes a ward down, though, for the dunk decks. And, yeah, it looks like uh, Baylife is moving out here. And they are definitely pulling back. They are at the number disadvantage. And it's not looking like this uh, Celerio in the burial is coming over here. So they're pushing back here to the lane. It's being safe. Take it safe and calmly. In the meantime... Iggy is having a blast on the right lane here with Hauswitzer. They are trading names and minions and talking. Of course, they are having a blast over there with all that firepower. Otherwise, we are looking at... Yeah, we see some wards here. There goes a ward down. Good stun, little there. Oh, that's a nice little follow-up there on the Muriel. And not that much of a follow-up on that, though. This is actually a bit of a hard fit situation for... Uh, oh, that's a good stun from the Decker there. And uh, yeah, that's a little hard situation there for the Grim there. He definitely did put him... There was a good situation a bit when they were up here, but they needed a bit more follow-up. And then it quickly turned around when Team Dunk the Dex were kind of uh, engaging hard here with their four people. And yeah, we are having... This is going to be one of those games probably where Iggy and Howie hangs in the right and is uh, trading uh, shots for a long time. It will be a lot interesting to see how the end games, if we get there, becomes uh, for the Howie. Definitely. Uh, and we see definitely. Oh, here comes the little push. Iggy comes from the side here. Uh, look, how though he's going to be so close to the tower that the uh, good ball. Oh no, okay. I was hoping uh, or imagining that he might have been trying to get a bomb, so he would push the house it's out of the lane there. But nonetheless, a four-man situation on the right there. They probably took harvesters, which you see here now. We are on the seven-minute marker, which means the harvesters are being taken on both sides here. We are looking at the harvester lead on Team Baylife. And finally, he's starting to learn. And, oh, yeah, some damage being taken there. How sweet, sir, you need to clear that nicely. Oh, hey, look at this. Oh, the Iggy is taking damage. Iggy is switching to the mid lane here. And uh, we see a nip down to the left there. Over here, and then we see uh, the cellular being in their own jungle. All is nice and calm. Oh no, oh yeah, he is in his own jungle. But we do have a nicely placed ward here from Team Dunk the Dex. And uh, yeah, well, how's it looking on the ward side? We see one there for Bay Life, and we have one offensi offensive here for Bay Life as well. Uh, we have a nicely worded situation over here. Uh, yeah, and that's about it in the terms of the wording. Uh, teams are definitely taking it easy. A lot of people coming from base here. Uh, cards have be definitely been bought. We see uh, Hon Honor of Pure here for the Muriel on the Dunk and Dex side. Otherwise, we are seeing some scores with a lot of wards here. We have some keys. A lot of these keys, items, my most some of the potions are going to be switched out uh, a lot further in the game if they get switched out. M some of them are going to be switched out, that's for sure. Uh, we're looking at an invasion here, actually, from Team Dunk the Dex. Moving in here, and uh, I think they probably stole the red buff, right? Uh, let's see here. Can we get a look at you, fellas? Hello? And uh, we see one here. Yeah, that's a red buff on the TB. And this one is spawning in, so yeah, they stole the red buff, that's for sure. Still a bit messy. Oh, doo -doo that's the Discord. Oh, I don't dare pushing on the Discord to uh, mute that sound. I might be tabbed out and this will screw everything up. Okay, the train is coming in here from the Donk the Deckers. Moving as a troop here now. I'm more curious to see what their strategy is because they are moving very closely together. And uh, from lane to lane here and... Um, 
Baylife is pushing each lane uh, with uh, the character that you see here on the right side. That's uh, very far to the right side, that's for sure. Okay, we have mighty engagement. However, though, these ward situations are definitely paying off here for uh, Baylife because they are n um, never being out of um, too far out in the lanes when the big train comes. We are looking at the level 5. God darn it. <laughs> we are looking at level 5 though for most of the players here on the blue team, uh, which is Dunk the Deckard. Uh, dunk the Dex. Uh, oh, that's a good engagement on the nip there. Here comes the little. Oh, oh, are we seeing an ult? There's a good Eagle ult. He almost killing the Murder there. There comes the Decker ult down, and that's a Murder on the side as well. No, non damage being done by Marty. Really happy because of the Decker ult. Closing the rim, actually, I think. Or maybe just out of range here. We're seeing the little guy. I'm never Grim here moving up there, yeah. I need. To, oh my god, that dude's name. Okay, Howie is very far out there. Did we see an ulti for Howie? I don't think so. And he is dry, so we will not see an ulti. Because he here, oh, that's good to suck you away. Well, that's a one-man kill though, and they should be getting primal after that kill. Or are they? Look like they actually aren't. They are happy with that kill, and uh, yeah, they might try to push a lane, or they are taking it very uh, calmly after that so win, because they hope. Darn it! <laughs> the whole team of Dunk the Decker went back to base, so that's were a bit of an opportunity to actually get the level one. Primal buff at least. They might not feel the confidence to be able to turn it in though. It's definitely a possibility. However, they could have gotten it for the terms of his holding it. But this game is definitely a lot calmer, let's just say that, in terms of engagements and so on. So they might not want to waste it because it could definitely turn around with them with having the primal. Uh, tower wise, it's uh, definitely a bit of a feel. Uh, Situation so far. I don't think we lost any towers, have we? They haven't even taken that much damage. No, that's uh, definitely sure. And we are. Are we getting an engagement here? Some uh, poking on the turrets. Or not turrets, but this. Oh, there comes a good ulti. Catching no one. So good that was. But uh, TB though getting caught out and that's a lot of damage. Comes a Howie ult there and that's not real. Oh, there it goes. Good little less damage from the Deckard. Good job on Kinmori there. And a good trade off. Uh, if we talk, I uh, think about. Oh, that's a good Howie rocket right up his bum. And yeah, we are looking at the first tower, and there it goes to Donk the Dex. And that's a murder call, D. Doing a lot of damage there on Vos. Oh, he got, oh, he's so dead, my friend. Here, Vos is go. Oh, that's a good little yum there, whatever. That's, yeah. That's a good engagement, a good job here from Dunk Deckers. Are we seeing and say, oh yeah, that's the Iggy here on the other side, I'm assuming. Yeah, he's not getting much done though. And it's the Muriel being there, so she can just fly over if she felt the need to. Have it all, Dunk Deckers played that beautifully here in the left lane. And they are, yeah, they are happy about this. They got the first tower, uh, if I'm too not mistaken. Ah, the mid one actually could have died during that uh, engagement. Maybe Iggy was actually being a bit of a mean one and killed that off during the fight. Otherwise, we are seeing the black buff getting killed off here. Oh my god, I have uh, starting to feel a hiccup coming up my way. Yep, it's... Okay, it wasn't a hiccup, it was a little bit of a burp. Sorry, sorry. Damn burgers. Okay. Let's take it. It looks to be a bit of a calm situation. Let's try to check some of the cards. We are seeing the Lantern of Spring here. Offensive maneuver on the decker. And health potion and mana potion. Lord's Ward with a health uh, upgrade there. And uh, otherwise, we are not seeing an upgrade, which is totally fine on the decker. She is definitely fine with that. We are seeing some uh, so Sources Ward, uh, a Gora Scepter, and Willing Wand. Nothing uh, super unique, but oh yeah, looking fine so far though. The deckers are building a bit differently, differently, which is always interesting to see here. We have a venom shell and a shank view mesh. I'm probably pronouncing it very badly, but yeah, at least I'm trying. That's annoying. Look, I'm fast on the combat. There. Oh, that's a nice little decker jump up there on the. Mer merciless uh, Muriel. Oh, that's a lot of cooldowns on the Muriel. 
And there, oh, look at that bomb! Oh, it flies and there it hits. <laughs> aye, 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 that looked a bit funny, to be honest. Um, and yeah, but the murder got away. A lot of damage were being uh, definitely used, but it wasn't enough. And I'm uh, pushing on all the places here. But we are finally getting some action here. Definitely both teams are very much taking it easy, looking on the map here, waiting for that opportunity engagement, and then going, and it's a chaotic mess, basically, and then they move out of the mess, and it becomes this soothing situation. Otherwise, Martyribia here in the left lane, we see a Merciless being down there, killing off a ward. It's, uh, yeah, the wards are still, uh, both teams are definitely doing an, uh, both aggressive and good job in terms of where they put the wards. That's definitely for sure. And, uh, yeah, we're looking at, once again, a little bit of a calm situation here. Uh, so let's t move up a little bit here so we have a nice overview so we can easily get to where we need to go. <coughs> some towers being pushed in and let's check some cards. Okay, Martu Rivia, you are using Brawler's Ward, Impact Hammer, Blade of Agora, Spear of the Rifle, and we do have Myra Strikes upgrades in most of that, yeah, in all of that actually. So we are looking at a very heavily physical build here with some crit in it. Uh, we will see if he puts at least one attack speed card in it. Probably not, but maybe at least one or use the card that gives 6.6 .6 at the equip and 6.6. .6 uh, at um, fully upgrade, I think it's 6.5 actually, but yeah, don't quote me on that. And uh, we see the Iggy pushing the other lane far out here to the left here. And we finally see a three man here on the right lane, and uh, yeah, it's definitely a bit of a shield situation right now. People are definitely def um, getting cards, emptying harvesters. We are still looking at an harvester lead here for Team Drunk uh, Dunk the Decks. Damn that name, they are not making it easy for me. First game actually casting these both teams here in the uh, Agora Rising tournament. And it's definitely a bit of a blast. And yeah, oh, yeah, there's a five man situation going over here on the left. We see Seller moving over here, it's nicely warded. Oh, that disappears actually one of the wards, so m she might be trying to reward it. But she's, oh, that's so close, nice little shield there. And she's tempting a lot, and, but tank. Got, oh, she actually started ulti there, and now she ulti Ziani. Will she, oh, there comes stun, and she is dead. That's a good job from a dunk the decks. On the Muriel from a Bay Life, and uh, Iggy runs very far here. And the team start moving. Are we seeing a primal finally? Yes, we are. Here comes the primal. We have a ward here, however. The question is what the team just tries to do with it. Iggy is staying in the, in the left here to try to have a little bit of vision on them. The rest of his team is pushing down the right because they need to turn it in over here. So this might help a little bit to defend that. that um, was that situation. However, though, they can just put it on a heavy tank and run in the back for it, but that is going to be seen. And there we see a ward coming down as well to help the vision when the time comes. Definitely not going to be an easy uh, turn in here for Team Dunk the Dex against Bay Life. And there we have it, the whole team is back, regrouping, regaining mana, potions, everything for the potential of the big fight that could happen. Nice with that ring there. It was some time ago. Yeah, we have a uh, ring. Oh, that's Nimp here on the Murdoch. Uh, Kenormi as well on the. That's the Gideon. Oh, no, that's the Decker. Okay, we finally see the aggression here. Where is the. Okay, the primal uh, buff here is. Or the primal orb is on the Decker. The Decker from the boss here is going hard actually. She's probably one of the tankers. Character misses the stun, misses the other. There the comes an ulti from Ken Mora of Dexter. Decker. Uh, and there comes an ulti from Murion. There comes an ulti from Howie's. And we see the ulti from everything here. Lots of damage there on the Nip. And I disappear! Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. I'm. Is as irritated as you are. You know what? We are recapturing that. I don't care that we are... This is a live game, but we can actually still move back in the game. And we are doing that. Okay. Recap. 
here comes those with the stun and miss, and here we should see the ultis once again. There comes the first ulti from the decker, and nice position down here. Nimp is getting stunned, Murder ult coming in here, Iggy is hunting hard. There comes the ulti from the uh, grid guy, and a lot of damage coming down here from the Iggy, actually, and I do it again! Oh my god! There we go, exactly where we want. There comes the Iggy, there comes the next decker ulti. Murder ulti actually in here, which is nice. Good stun there. It actually makes... Uh, no, that's a good ulti from the Murdoch there. And it's a lot of damage. A good little flanking here from Team Dunk the Dex. For sure. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we did get to watch that fight. <laughs> and yeah, well, looking at the cleanup a little bit here. It's uh, definitely become an even kind of trade out here. There we go. Good job of the TB actually raping up the whole Dunk the Deckers team. And I'm sitting here thinking Dunk the Decker won the fight. But look at that turnaround. We now have the up on the Bay Life team. And they are going to push hard with it. I definitely missed something there. Oh, wait. Wait. That's the. Oh, sorry, Iggy. Oh yeah, they did that to get the turn in. I missed something. <laughs> That's for sure. Anyhow, sorry. Big mess up. Let's move on. Feel free to leave in comments what I missed there, because I definitely missed the whole turn in. I felt... Wait. Aren't I supposed to turn it over here? Me? Well, well, let's look some cards. Okay, it was 9, 11, 8, 11, 8, and uh, yeah, we have a more uh, d high level and um, somewhat more even level here on their side, but these ones are higher. Card-wise, we are definitely looking at quite an even one. Uh, actually, looks like the blue team here, uh, Dunk, the decks are having a bit of a card lead. Oh, there goes Boris, he jumps out, the Merle is going hard here, that's a lot of ability w being put down, actually some of them misses. And yeah, we oh, here comes the flank though, and the Deckers come, both Deckers come down, that's a big surround though, it's only going to be a poor poor guy in that one though. Merle is coming in here, the TB and the Iggy is coming from behind, this is a big split up in terms of where the positioning are. Uh, the TB is taking a lot of damage here, and we see a good job there on the Iggy, getting that damage down on the kill, and there comes an ulti, and that's being blocked by someone, I didn't see who that was, Murray going down here, and we see Kenmore taking a lot of damage, there comes the Iggy, the Iggy turret, and damn, that's a good fight, and there goes the TB, good fight, fights are being a lot of trade here now, but uh, we are further into the game, and the further into the game we get, the longer the timer gets. Oh my gosh. And as you see, this is a beta. This long pillar is supposed to be down here, so don't think that they had to aim up here. It's actually uh, being down here. Yeah. Okay. Are we looking for the finish here from Whoopsie Daisy? Oh my god, I'm getting annoyed with myself. Okay, they were actually happy with that push through the mid lane, and they pushed it in quite nicely. Uh, some of them moving over here to right lane, actually. That's why we should have this instead, probably. I do like this, though. I would just want to get rid of the minimap. It would be swell. Or use cast more, I guess. And become better. Because this is so par. Okay, still on the jungle here, right? Yeah, because they are on the blue side of the jungle. So this is a bit of steel. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, they did. Oh, okay, they didn't kill it off. They just left it at very low HP so they can go there at their... Uh, they're basically doing that too, so they can decide a more optional, a, lot op um, a better time, basically, to kill it off. So, uh, do we have the whole team in base? No, we don't. Where are they? Oh yeah, there they are on the other side. Oh my god, we are... Okay, that's... Oh, there we're going down. Okay. Still, we have a bit of a common moment. Looks like we might be getting a push here in the middle. Now, they are moving on to Latin. Let's check on some cards here for... Team Dunk decks here we have. Uh, we see the brand of the Iron Eaters. We are going to see some life steal here now on the TB for the Dunk. Uh, uh, dunk the decks. Still potions and so on are still here. We have seen uh, some of the harvest keys that were here on the Team Dunk and decks are definitely <laughs> are definitely gone. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Yeah, we see some lanterns, some gen Genesis Torch, Impact Hammer, Red Eyes uh, Nitro, Impact Hammer. Yeah. Some fairly common builds, but nonetheless very effective. Okay, okay. Name here being okay. There are lots of tension here around the primal buff. Uh, we are seeing, uh, yeah, under undead pilot being in the middle with the grid, grim. Oh my God, the day when I will learn that name. The day when I will learn that name. Well, we are definitely have a common situation here. They did kill off the mid, uh, not uh, harvest, it's an inhib here. I'm kind of waiting for them to actually make something out of it though. Uh, because they are hanging around here in the left here. Are they hoping that they will think that they are at the primal? Or are they just waiting for the primal? Because you can see a heavily warded situation here. We have one, two, three, four, five wards, and then we have some Iggy turrets up here. Could actually be Iggy turrets that are down here as well and not wards. I would assume most of them are wards though. Uh, yes, they are. Bit of a Muriel fight over here I'm uh, uh, seeing. And uh, yeah, the, there we have it. And uh, by the way, if you hear the Discord like bidding sound, I'm so sorry with that. I will definitely mute that for the next game. I did actually forget about that sound. I thought that it would mute itself because I muted anything. We see the Iggy farm, not farm, but the Soulwing here on the primary. It's level 2 though, so it's going to take some time. But he's getting help from his team. Ken Mori here on the decker is definitely seeing this happen. The team is however, not uh, looking to respond to this. They're mainly just keeping track of it and probably trying to make the game... Uh, uh, oh, look at that! There we go! Oh, that's an ult coming in though from the Nymph, uh, Murdoch. Uh, looks like Ken Mori here on the decker from uh, the Dunk the decks are moving out. And there uh, we have it, Primal Orb on the Baylife side. Oh, Celiorne taking on some damage here on the Muriel. We don't have a tower here to defend her. She's trying to ult it away though, and there it goes. And uh, she is safe and sound. Have it they are an ulti down. Uh, but we could see, depending on some, it was the Mur. Oh, that's the Celora. We might see some cooldown. We should see. Yep, there we have it. Some cooldown reduction. There's some more cooldown reduction. Sure, her ulti is definitely a long cooldown. But with help of that cooldown reduction, we should see it back in action fairly, uh, fairly soon. Yep, yep. Okay, you can see that whole warding tresk over there. Oh my god. Okay, we are watching the orb now, and let's n hope that I don't miss track of it again. <laughs> we see team dunk the decks here, moving over to the right lane, trying to defend this. Probably. Uh, are we seeing a counter push right now? It looks definitely like the both teams are kind of grouping up with it. Uh, Missiles and Nimp are being a bit far out though, so if something happens, they are probably going to solo push or they are trying to defend mid more, more or less here actually because of that uh, inhib being down. Oh, we have the little Howie being far in here, that's a good ult actually, and that's a sneaky one as well. A lot of damage coming in. Murren trying to get close, here comes the Decker though, she's ulting too, and then actually just makes a run for it. Let's move over here so we get a little bit of a better vision. And you see the kind of hard thing of coming out of this kind of forest is because of this very short show point. You actually, uh, it may not, my opinion, also, you want to try for comfort this way if you are defending because these show points, especially with uh, these kind of characters that are up against, can always, always be a hard situation. You don't get there in time enough. But good kills coming down by Merlot. It comes in, it's not going to save him. There comes the Iggy. Doing a lot of damage, and that's a good bomb there from the gr Grim. Yeah, everything is dying here. From the Grim. Yeah, I said correctly, and then I still doubt in my head. But yeah, we see some damage here on the in Harvester. In I mean. Oh my god, it feels like I haven't cast it in a long time. And there it goes down. We only saw the health bar. As I said, the inhibitor is down here. It's just a bug. And that's a full team wipe. Almost one guess. Oh, poor, poor Nimp here managed to get out with his life. Uh, but yeah, this should be game. Which we have seen, actually, because this one stopped at 2840. Uh, some while back, actually, which kind of indicates that, okay, the game is going to get long. That's why we sh I probably should do this. If you have any feedback, though, on this, uh, this was definitely not a perfect casting game because of the whole that I skipped a uh, team fight that I really want to see. 
and uh, the name on the grim here. <coughs> Have it all! If you watch, thanks so much for watching. Always feel free to leave feedback regarding the uh, volume, sound, mi microphone, and so on. Uh, otherwise, I uh, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.